Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EU Rome. I'm your host, Kelvin. So, this guy, as it turns out, is a threat. I didn't notice it until now, unfortunately. The disloyal commander thing here. He's got 0% loyalty and could start a civil war at any time. And you can see, loyalty units minus 3.45. He has the whole army loyal to him. He needs to be destroyed. Good. Execute him. Loyal to nobody. Yeah. Look how much is loyal to him. It'll clear out in time. Gain form in somewhere. Tribu. Tribali. Oh, lovely. For Dardania, where we can't trade. We could offer sacrifice, I agree. Offering sacrifice will help. No current leader. I'm not sure who I want to appoint as leader, really. I don't think there's a good answer. Good. Some barbarian absorption is always nice. And Paeonia has none left. No barbarian power left means no longer a colony. Which I thought meant it was supposed to change culture over to me. I think it might have been having a barbarian power without being a colony. Because you... I think it starts with that uh, in these pr provinces only because they're owned by Tylus. They're only owned by Tylus for like fucking three years of the game or something. And then they just go back to being uncolonized. So. We'll have to see. Alright. Invoke an omen for population growth. Excellent. Keep that population growing. As quickly as possible. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like... I guess at him... It's... It's logically gotta be this guy. Sophilus's Alicid. Who is he if he's not dead? Because I'm fairly certain I killed him. So, S, S, all. How about men? T, N, P, Q, R, so far this is Allison. His loyalty is none. As a result of his large quantity of units. He doesn't have enough that I need to worry about him, though. That's the good news. He doesn't have enough loyal units where he could actually screw us. Then again, maybe he does. But considering that, you know, at least I still have a portion of the army. We can hope. He's gaining it. His loyalty is going up. We need to rest right now. Engaging in things like war is bad. Jordania still got some barbarian power left over. Like, we're actually getting some reserve now. It's good. Uh, invoke an omen. Good, more population growth. Up to 522 gain each month. Good. Ah, things are improving. So, Thracia. I think I actually want you to trade with Attica. Tribali. Ah, uh, no, you... Get rid of that. Those two will trade. Unfortunately, Tribali doesn't have anything to trade with now, which blows, but, you know. Whatever. I see. Uh, I shouldn't have cancelled this then, should I? Whatever. Let's 
that's fine. Anyway, doing this will uh, hopefully spread over this, the uh, civilization a bit more. Yeah, plus 0 0.03 and plus 0 0.02 from trade route. Good. So hopefully Thrasia will get up there enough. Because I wouldn't mind uh, trying to get, you know, some colonies going up here. Thrasia has enough uh, population to do it. So they can go get Crobobazy. is good on the other side of the Bosporus, too. Alright. Gain form in Thrasia. All the better. More money. Yeah. Uh, Attica. Yeah, we need to find a new trade partner because I foolishly cancelled everything in Attica. I don't know why I did it. I'm just a fool. Problem is, there isn't exactly much to trade. Maybe up here. That's about it, though. Ah, good. They choose wisely. Alright. <clears throat> but otherwise, we just need to hold. We're still recovering a fair bit. Uh, we can get sacrifice up to plus one stability. We have positive population growth. And war exhaustion is plus 6.43. Great. Gain one stability. All the better. Come arrival, that's fine. 2.3. Like, it's the best I can hope for. It really is. But the war exhaustion is rather quite painful. But we need to keep conquering. If we don't uh, occasionally go to war, the populist faction gets all uppity. And Dardania... Mm, no, they don't. It's just Tribalti. Tribali or whatever it is. Paonia is revolting. We have Gossus Bali, so attacking Illyria is okay. Alright. Continue and invoke a... Well, alright, whatever. And I don't need an omen to go after Illyria. Poor Illyria is so badly beaten up by the barbarians out there. Like, that period of barbarian invasion just wrecked havoc on them. I feel bad for him. Oh, uh, well. Thracians, governors considering independence. Interesting. Alright. Well, sue for peace and annex them. Good. So, we extend our empire out a little bit better. And Dalmieta needs a governor. Oh, more happy to do that. There we go. Uh, Dalmate, that's good. Alright. Barbarians and... Alright. Ally with a prestigious family. Uh, let's gamble. So yeah, a lot of barbarians. Construction technology. Our architect on. Yep. There you go. Alright. Dash over here. Try and block them. There's now 20 of them. Oh dear god. They burned it. That's what I was trying to avoid, but they were too quick. You have a marshal of what? Four? Eh, you're a contender, I guess. Well, the Thessmonda's loyalty is more important. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna 
want all their damn slaves for that. Religious power shift. Excellent. The populist are at a civil war risk, I know. 49, that's actually not enough to start a civil war, thankfully. Hopefully they don't get 51. That's when I'm really concerned about a civil war. Like hell. Considering you guys are about ready to start a civil war, I'm not appointing you guys any friggin' offices. 27 political attraction, good. That should cause them to reduce in offices a bit. Man, 121, I'm not, not sacrificing that. Uh, irrigation in Tribali, Thrasi, and Skadara. Thank you. Uh, irrigation. I do enjoy my, uh, local tax increases. Okay. To become governor of Macedonia, you say? Well, we don't have one. So, I suppose you can have the position. Population growth, good. 49%, uh, 48, good. Keep it down. <laughs> Paeonian rebels. Yeah, we have some problems right now. We'll deal with them shortly. I mean, the Barbarians aren't going to do anything while they're there. They don't have enough troops left to siege it. Okay. Pergamon just got eaten by Egypt. Yep. All right, and hey, for we got uh, the barbarians at least. Irrigation Skadara. Good. <clears throat> now we still have a bajillion buildings we need to actually build, but I'm trying. That's why I'm maintaining such a small army. So is Pontus split in half yet? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck between Titans right now. I need uh, Armenia to go to war with Egypt. If they do that, then I can actually potentially uh, join in. And potentially get Asia Minor here. Again, potentially. I'll say that a lot for that sort of stuff. It's not good. Hmm. So, we can build a form in more than three provinces. No real surprises there. Uh, if we do it around... Should do it for Dardania so it can trade with Triballi. Okay. New commander. Uh, go for it. We should probably change out commanders before any more become loyal to him. Try and keep the commander loyalty evened out a little bit. <sighs> that way no one person suddenly maintains enough power to start a giant civil war. Okay. So yeah, we'll build a forum here. What's going on? Sacrilege. No temple. Ooh. Holy shit. Like, 21%. And... Still. Friggin', uh... Like, 49 seats. They should not be able to maintain that many seats. Like, they have no positions. I've ensured that. 
Throughout the Empire, they hold no positions. 33%, 31%, 42%, 34%. They have the least. That should be going down. Good lord. Alright. <clears throat> At least our income continues to rise. Continue to invoke uh, population growth elements where we can. It totally actually is an unused trade route. Good. Problem is, not really many people we can trade with here. Because this produces wheat, which is pretty common, unfortunately. Aha. Uh -huh. eh, as much as I want to invade the Egyptians, they, uh, I do admit, they are good trading partners. Very helpful. I mean, trade, you know, makes up 20% of my income, so it's it's nothing to scoff at. <clears throat> we need to get more uh, forms wherever we can. In particularly large regions as well. Yeah, we'll build a form here. We're just going to start from the bottom and work our way up now at this point. We want to try and get, you know, whatever we can on forums. Good. This forum. Alright, you wouldn't be able to trade with that anyway. Whoops. Green from Lydia. Eh, yeah, whatever. We've gained Goron, Thessalia, Attica, and Euboea. Excellent. <laughs> and slowly, that is going down. Good lord. Thracia. Stay away. Bad rebels, go away. You are not welcome here. Luckily, they probably aren't too many rebels. Barbarian absorption, yes. Incurred. Encourage this. Good. Dardania's got no more barbarian threat to it. Very important. Hmm. Also, at some point, we should gather up the friggin' fleet. Culture and Dalmate become Greek. Excellent. They're still shamanistic, but it's something. And good. We can colonize. Of course, we'll need to draw the barbarians out, but we can colonize at least. Tribute income plus 10%. Too bad we don't get any tribute income. Civic technology off empty. <laughs> Over my dead body. Uh, congratulations. So yeah, let's try and harass them out of here. They, uh, they don't want to come out, huh? Well. Wow. Friggin' everything's loyal to somebody. Use a smaller force. You won't take attrition that way and just stand out there. Oh dear. Populous civil war risk again. 49. Apparently because I have no omen invoked. Whoops. Gotta keep on top of omens. Seriously, that's why the populous faction will take over someday. Lack of buildings, long period of peace. In my ass. Okay, Tribali and Sparta. Okay, good. We got something from Sparta here. Try to throw in a guess some more. Keep the trade routes flowing. I don't really need plus three stability. I really don't. Form, temple, and stockades. So, uh, we have one in Attica. 
Yeah, that's the form, right? So Euboria is next, and Thessalay. Alright. And alright. Good. Get that done. Still have a lot of provinces left to build forms in, but we're doing our best. Ah, there we are. Barbarian attack. That's what we were looking for. Oh, yeah. Can't colonize until the barbarian army actually lead, leaves the province. But we will. We now have to defend the province from the barbarian horde. I can't back down. What's going on? Arabia Superior. Yeah, man, there isn't much left of the Seleucids. I've never seen them fall apart that badly. Oh well. But you know what? That's a great way to end off today's episode. We've got our first colony set up here. In the, and along the Black Sea. Protect the Greek in Bithynia, yeah. We lost point stability for that. Vassiani. I don't even know who they are. Like, who are these people? That's, I've never met these people. Oh, they're, they're there. Why am why is it my job to declare war on them? Holy shit, lose two stability for not doing it. Okay. That's rough. That's really freaking rough. Did I just get civil ward by the populists? Okay, what's in my possession? The whole military, excellent. First assault that. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll end today's episode here. I'll clean up this, these damned populists uh, after this. So, without further ado, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Kielvin, signing off.